Hey, good morning. How are you today? I am very, very excited. How about you? I'm great. I'm excited for the show today. We have so many cool things on. We're going to go explore uh, an old logging camp up in the mountains of Washington State. Uh, we'll talk about some helpful tips that may get you started detecting in the woods. And we actually have something on the show that we've never had before. Someone from Tennessee sent us mm. an audition tape. The Buckeye State. Very nice. No, Tennessee's not the... Hi everybody, thanks for coming back for another episode of Detecting Our Past. We are up in the Cascade Mountains today of Washington State, doing it again. There is still too much snow for us to get to where we want to go, but we came across this beautiful spot located back in the woods a bit, and we think it could have been a pioneer encampment. So, let's check it out. Without further ado, I'm River. I'm Jeff. And welcome to Detecting, Detecting Our Past. Our Past. A lead. It's like a slug. Oh, it's old. Oh, yes. Oh, it's old. Check it out. It's got the rings on the backside. Looks like it impacted something. You see those rings on there? Yeah. Oh, awesome. It's old. Yeah, it hit something. But yeah, great first find. Old lead, maybe uh, early 1900s, late 1800s. I really love metal detecting up in the woods of Washington State, but it can it can be challenging at times. It can be super challenging, and we want to go over a couple of tips that might help your success rate while you're up there in the mountains. Number one, dig your tones. Number two, wet ground is good. It gives you better connectivity between the tones that are really yeah, deep. Yeah, so don't be a baby. If it's raining, just go out and metal detect and get your stuff done. Also. Uh, in the woods, it's challenging because there is so much seasonal debris all over the ground that it's building up sometimes two and three inches a year. If you're looking for artifacts that are 150 years old, they're going to be deep. They're going to be under roots. So just go prepared to set your uh, set your metal detector on the, on uh, deep tones and, and dig them. Absolutely. So I guess what we're trying to say here is one of the most important things is you just got to grind. You're going to find those cool tones and you're gonna find those amazing artifacts, but you gotta work for them. You gotta dig your iron tones, and you just, you gotta, you gotta hammer it hard, and you will find it. All right, I'm on an iron tone here. Yeah, there it is. Um, one thing about, yeah, this is just a random piece of iron, maybe a, maybe a bucket handle or some kind of hook or something. Um, but uh, one thing about detecting these pioneer camps is, they left a ton of junk around, a ton of iron, um, a ton of scrap metal, and you never know what it's going to be. So it could be, a, it could be a really cool horseshoe, or it could be just a, an old random piece of scrap iron like this. But I always recommend to dig your iron targets out here, even though sometimes it gets frustrating, because you may just come up with a cool artifact. This is not one of those. Target here, it's big. It's all over the place. Get that out of there. So, what do we have here? All 
whatever it is, it's right there and it wants me to find it so bad. Oh my God. Wow, that's, that's so an that amazing find. that was kind of find. a joke and it's a, it's a Coors. So it's an old Coors, it's got the old, <laughs> it's got the old pull tab. Wow. Opener, I know, wow, right? Wow. Never found anything like this. All you beer drinkers of 60 years ago, put your stuff in your pack and pack it out. Anyway, that's a very old can, interesting to see it. I think my dad had a couple of cans like that around. Ooh. I think we have some, we might have a, industry in Washington state was seeded by the gold rushes in Alaska and California. Absolutely. Thousands and thousands of people came to Seattle as the major stopping point before they would head up to Alaska to get outfitted for their gold hunts. And many of them came looking for their fortune in gold, but some found their fortunes in other places as well. A lot of these guys showed up in Seattle with uh, intentions of going up into Alaska and then realized they could make a lot more money selling things to the people who were going up to Alaska. And one very famous name of a guy that did that was Nordstrom. Absolutely. And I think we all know how that turned out. Oh, okay. Oh, I see it. I see it. Look at this. Can you see it? Pull down into the hole. Can you see this? You see what that is? A little bit. I bet other detectors know what this is. Can you see it now? Yeah. Oh, awesome. Ooh, that's big. Cool. Too. So that's, uh, that's a great little relic. That's the old uh, railroad spike. Um, when the pioneers were up here back in the day, they built temporary railroad tracks to haul and move the giant trees that they were cutting and somebody dropped a spike. That's, that's a really cool find. Yeah, it's cool. I think is either two pieces of a teacup or some sort of vase. I found what I think is part of a metal can. Uh, let's see how much it's worth. Hmm. Can you pick it up so you can see it? A bit Careful. Oh. Cool. On this special segment of detecting our past, I found what I think is a railroad spike. I don't know, I don't know what it is. There's still something right here. Hey, that was really good. Thank you very much, Colby, for sending that in. We really enjoyed watching that. Yes, absolutely. Keep up the good work. We love to see how invested you are in the show, and one day you'll probably make an amazing metal detector raider. Detector Raider. Nicely done, Cole. Hey, that was a lot of fun. I absolutely had so much fun today. And we found some pretty cool historical yep, got artifacts. Great artifacts. That railroad spike was pretty cool. Yeah, it was cool. I like finding those. It's, uh, it just points so much to the history of this area. It absolutely does. Plus, we found that quarter. And I mean. Oh, yeah, and you're not poor anymore. Yeah, and I mean, it, it was a modern. It's a modern coin, but a coin is still. It's a coin. And seeing it in the ground is always exciting. It gets the heart going when you see that edge of that coin. Absolutely. But I definitely had a lot of fun. And make sure that you hit like and subscribe if you want to watch our videos. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one. See you next time.
Hey everybody, thanks for coming back for another episode of DOP. We are up in the mountains again, doing it again. Sorry. <laughs> Hi everybody, thanks for coming back for another episode of DOP. We are up here in the mountains today looking for some stuff. We, the snow level, it's, <clears throat> that's not gonna work. <laughs> <laughs> Hi everybody, thanks for coming back for another episode of Detecting Our Past. We're up here in the mountains again, doing it, that doesn't sound Again, right we're doing it again.